Hi, this is Sharon Rice. I'm with Generosity.org, and we're here for our Philly Changer Chats. And I'm here today with Sylvester Mobley from uh, Coded by Kids. He's the Executive Director of the organization. So thank you so much, Sylvester, for joining us today. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I want you to tell the audience a little bit about what is Coded by Kids and, and how did the organization get started? So I always start with what Coded by Kids isn't. Okay. Coded by Kids is not a, it's not a coding school. Mm -hmm. Coded by Kids isn't a technical training organization. We're a, we're a nonprofit organization that provides kids with a, a structure to move through life. We started five years old and we go up to 18. Okay. Our kids are able to stay with our program forever, you know, essentially. You know, they, they can stay until, until they graduate high school. So not, not, not really forever, but until they graduate high school. Right. In a lot of ways, we're modeled after the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, where we take kids and we give them a structure they can move through as they, as they grow. So we're still relatively young, but we're still building out that system that will be there and last for our kids. What we do with technology is we use technology as the conduit. We teach web development and we teach programming as a way to, to, to teach the kids about creativity, to teach them critical thinking, to teach them that it's okay to fail. But within that, there's a, there's a larger goal. Within that is to produce creative problem solvers in the end. Great, that's great. So what was some of the inspiration behind creating this organization and, and how does your background, if it, if it all, play into uh, the creation of Coded by Kids? So I have a, I have a tech background mm -hmm. and you know, I started to, to notice that there were large groups of people being left out of the, the tech industry. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I noticed that there's a, a large amount of opportunity in the tech industry. Right. So I saw a niche match. You know, I saw that you, know, you have so much opportunity, but there's also so many people who aren't able to, to take advantage of those opportunities and to get into the industry. I wanted to use my background, my skills, to do something to, to, to help people who needed those skills to get into it. One of the realities is with budget cuts in, in our schools and some of the other things going on in, in our public schools, anything extra tends to, to get sidelined. Yeah. And technology happens to be one of those things. Right. So one of the biggest reasons why there's large groups of people who are left out of the tech industry is because they just don't have the skills. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to create an organization that would give kids the skills that they needed from an early age. Take kids from five and up and start them off as early as possible. So that by the time they were ready to, to either go to college or go into the workforce, they had the skills they would need to be competitive. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I saw larger issues. You know, it's not enough to just give someone, you know, some skills. It's not enough to just teach someone to, to build a website when they're coming from neighborhoods that have systemic problems. Mm. So, you know, I also realized I needed to build a, a, a support system around those kids where I wasn't just teaching them something that they could use to get a job or they could use to, to go into a STEM-related major, but also a support system that they had to rely on as they moved through school and moved through their lives. Right, that's great. So right now, like you said there are projects that your the students create. Um, is there like a particular project that was your favorite or one that you saw that was sort of blew your expectations? So, so, so there, there's, there's quite a few of them. Um, one of our, our, our young ladies, I think she's about seven years old, she likes Frozen. She loves the movie Frozen. Everybody loves Frozen. So <laughs> she wanted to build a website about Frozen okay. and that's what, what she made. I had a, another group of young ladies who they wanted to build a website about sneakers. So they, they built a website about sneakers and before I saw it, I didn't really know what to expect and the first thing that caught my eye was how much pink and purple <laughs> they used on the, on right. the website. Yeah. So, you, you know, for me, it's, it's to see kids who come in and have very little knowledge. You know, some of the kids come in and don't even understand that being a web developer is an actual career. They don't know. They don't understand that you know you can do that for a living or that's a job. They've never met a software engineer. They've never met a developer. And to see a kid go from there to you know happy building their own websites, you know, for me is the most amazing part. You know, right. it's not it's not specifically the 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 specific projects they're working on. It's watching the 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 transition. You know, watching where they come from. I always tell new volunteers you can't take any for grant anything for granted. A lot of our kids when they come in, you can't say open up a new file. Or save a new file because many of them have very little, you know, a very very small background, so they they don't know what that means. If you say, "Hey, save a file," mm -hmm. they don't know how to do that. So to see a kid who can't even save a file go from there to building a website is it's a huge thing. 
So as we're wrapping up, what's uh, what what are like one takeaway that you that you could give to people who are watching this? Um, what's something that you've learned from Coded by Kids and something you'd want the community to know that they don't know yet? I think the biggest thing I've learned is that you can never underestimate a child. Mm. People often say to me, how do you start at five? That's crazy. You can't teach a, a kid at five years old to build a website. And every time I say you're wrong, you're absolutely wrong. I think one of the biggest problems we have is underestimating what our kids are capable of. And one of the biggest takeaways I've gotten from Coded by Kids is don't ever underestimate what our kids are capable of. Love it. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Sylvester. It's great talking to you. And I'm looking forward to hearing more about Coded by Kids. Thank you.